It was a time when the whole world came together and we all spoke the same language, the language of sport, and we did the job when I was a part of it. From the minute he walked in the door, I just thought to myself, this is the guy. He was very loving and he gave up his time and he dedicated um, his life to the Olympics. <laughs> See all the horses there, which was my security. And that's me! There! That's me! That's me on security. I had that digitally enhanced on, um, put, and put in a frame. When Cathy Freeman was running in the 400 metres final, this, um, I was there. I was fortunate enough to be on security. And uh, I remember she was in the last 100 metres of the race. And when you watch it on television, you see the angles, and they're very deceptive. You can't really tell, but I was there, and I could see that she was she was lagging behind. I'm sort of feeling this power through my through my body, but in my mind, I'm feeling a little bit not sure I can pull this thing off. So I shouted, "Go, Kathy, go, go, Kathy, go!" Just this great big booming voice, so powerful and so present. It was just like, "Go, Kathy, go, 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 go!" And she ran off. And then, well, the rest, as they say, is history. Well, you know, even Juan Antonio said it was the best games ever, and that's that stayed with Dad. You know, he just can't can't let go. You've got to be careful sometimes. You try and run across. Man, you know what I mean? I was a volunteer at the uh, Olympics. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm still kind of carrying it through into civvy life, you know? <laughs> Helping people, connecting with people, talking to people. The Olympics people. are over, mate. Not for me, mate! The famous stadium, Sydney Olympic Park. <laughs> if you come with me, I'll show you inside. You gotta understand, you know, when it was packed with thousands of people. No, I think it's not gonna hold a beer, so mate. Just uh no, could you could you just hopefully uh oh, I was just taking my friends in there too. I beg your pardon, so I haven't I haven't been notified about any of this. This is my uh identification here, you know. I'm so clear it's, it's no identification, I'm sorry, you won't be able to come in. It's well it it served me well when I was if, here. If you just like if you'd just like to be quiet for a second, that's all. What's what's your clip? What are you doing here, buddy? And I was just going to show them inside well, the that, stadium. That's all well and good. Please, we'd like to leave. Can you, can you switch that off? Can you please turn that off? I don't know what went on out there at the lunch, but he's absolutely devastated. Sam, what? come here. Hey, oh, you complained. Didn't she, Ollie? She did. What did she say? I want to sit on your shoulder. Yes, and you did, so you could see the ceremony. <laughs> Tragedy, personal tragedy. Left a terrible hole in my life. But you know, I mean, that's that's over. That's done with. I've got another goal now. What that? Athens. Well, the Greeks would be mad if they didn't take him. I mean, it's uh, he would be, I think, a, a beacon to all the other uh, volunteers. Al's got the oomph back in the stride. You know what I mean? He's got a goal again. And I'm confident that come 2004, he'll be an invaluable member of the team in Athens. I just hope we get him back. We've been doing all we can to soak up the Greek language and culture to, you know, become inherently Greek ourselves. Yes. He and Sam go off to the Greek club, dancing with the men, drinking all night. Good night, though, wasn't it? It was lovely. Yeah. I learnt a lot. You did, you learnt a lot.
Okay. Guys! Whoa! Samuel. This what happened. Quick, quick, quick. Come on, Dad. Oh, the Olympic rings, very official. <laughs> Dear Albert Lewis. Oh, <laughs> Thank you for your application to be a volunteer at the Athens Olympic Games. Oh, as you can imagine, we haven't received many. What? What does it say? That's part oh, of, of his training, you know, how the Greeks like to smash plates and things. He uh, became quite unstable and got very depressed. So uh, Dr. Rickards from here suggested that, that he stay there for a while. You know, life is full of hiccups. <laughs> We're all destined to be in particular places at particular times and I'm more than happy to give them the benefit of my professional experience. So I'm, I, I have no problem whatsoever in dealing with this. None. He quite likes it in a way because there's, there's a lot of other Olympic volunteers there. They're all from the 56 Melbourne Games, but... My plans for the future? One word. Beijing. Albert, if you're watching, <laughs> from the bottom of my heart, thank you.